Hey guys, what's up? No marketing journey is complete without having a funnel in place. A funnel, simply put, ladies and gentlemen, is the path that a user takes across different stages from the point he has gotten in touch with you until the end goal is met, which is called as a conversion. The typical conversion path looks like this. You will have awareness at the very top. Then you will have activities like interest or consideration. Then you have interest. Then you have consideration. Then you have conversion. From the point in time he has interacted with you, the path that he takes to become a converted customer or to become a conversion is what is called as the funnel path. Now, typical stages in a funnel path look like this. You will have awareness at the very top. Then you have interest. Then you have consideration. Then you have conversion. A, a user has to be aware, a potential customer has to be aware of your product, that's the awareness phase. Then he has to develop some kind of curiosity or interest towards your product, which is the interest phase. Then he needs to consider, evaluate his decisions, decide upon a lot of things that he need to decide, that he need to take a decision upon before committing to you, and then finally conversion. Have you ever wondered what an AI-based funnel would look like? What would change if what would change with the emergence of AI in the process of building a funnel or running your funnel campaigns? Or how would it impact your overall performance? when you have AI in the picture. That is exactly what we would be talking about today and revolutionizing funnel strategies with AI. Unleash the power of AI to propel marketing and growth and let's get started. So the introduction, which is what are AI-based funnels? Just understanding the concept. AI-based funnels are marketing and sales processes that utilize AI technologies to automate, optimize customer journeys, improving targeting, personalization and lead nurturing. Now, if you look at all of these activities, we have all we have discussed about all these activities in silos. We have spoken about why lead nurturing is important. We have spoken about marketing automation. We have spoken about bringing people, to, bringing in traffic to your website. But what a funnel does is funnel puts together all these things and it redirects them towards achieving a common goal, which is the conversion in this example. Now, what is an AI-based funnel? It is a funnel which uses the AI technologies across the aspects of lead nurturing, automating certain tasks, scheduling certain tasks, and in evaluating the and, and in contributing to the overall performance to achieve a common goal, which is your conversion. Now, why AI-based funnels? What was wrong with the traditional approach? A traditional approach, as I said, typically had awareness, interest, consideration, and conversion. There's nothing wrong with the traditional uh, path as, as such, but if you look at it, it can be much better with the emergence of AI technologies, and there can be a lot of things that could work in your favor to maximize the value out of the same activities that you did in the past. For example, that, that's the whole essence of artificial intelligence and machine learning, right? It learns the, from, the, from your inputs and starts putting things together so that the amount of effort that you put in or would have to put in eventually comes down drastically while increasing your performance or the final output that you're trying to achieve from your marketing. Now, let us see how that works in play. Now, traditional funnels, the journey is linear. Pretty much the actions are set. The automations are set. There is no dynamism there. There is no dynamic activities that, that a traditional funnel will perform. There may be certain automations here and there that you would have set up. For example, uh, somebody comes on, somebody comes through your funnel, visits your landing page, then he fills in a form. There can be an automated email that goes out. These are small automations that were still possible in traditional system, but pretty much overall the traditional system was static or stagnant. There, which means there was not a lot of action happening. There was no dynamic things happening. There was no real-time learning that was happening. Now, pretty much all the actions were set, which means if you look at the rigid path that the traditional funnels followed, you typically had awareness, interest, consideration, and conversion, which is AIDA, which is awareness, interest, decision, and action. The actions were set. The funnel has predefined uh, activities that it was supposed to perform, and it did just that. The analysis out of all these funnel metrics that you capture at the end of your marketing activity is all had, had, had to be analyzed manually. Now, if, if things go good, it's fine. If there is something wrong that you, would, that you would want to tweak, what you did have to do is you would have to include those learnings in your next marketing campaigns or in the further activities and then do an analysis again manually. Then take the learnings from there and then subsequently implement all those learnings that you picked up in the, further, in the campaigns that followed after that. Now, this analysis was good at some point in time, but do we still have to do the manual analysis is something that we'll have to question ourselves. Now, then you have static personalization. While there might be some segmentation or personalization, as I said, it's typically based on broad categories or manually identified personas. 
you identified that there are certain targets that may work or worked in the past for you now you define your marketing activities keeping in mind those predefined manual segments that you had decided as i said there was no dynamic learning there is no dynamic learning there is no activity there is no learning on the go there is no learning from your mechanisms there is no automation etc now that pretty much led us to go ahead and look at what is ai based funnels and could i do anything better in these funnels that could save me time while improve performance at the same time now let's jump right into it ai based funnels the main activity is to optimize your performance and to remove any roadblocks and to automate things that you don't have to manually do further if it is possible now what is the point of having an automation feature but you're going to have to do it every time that it has to be done right now enhanced targeting and personalization speaks about so optimize targeting and personalization in marketing campaigns okay they use machine learning algorithms to analyze customer data segment audiences and deliver personalized content now this is a big thing along the way when a user passes through your stages of the funnel the the machine learning capabilities of the ai based funnels helps you analyze customer data segment the data and deliver personalized content which means if there are if there is an e-commerce customer coming into your website showing him content more about uh, that that harps or that emphasizes on e-commerce related content is something called as dynamic website optimization that is possible to be included in your funnel using the ai technologies then you have target the right audience with the right message at the right time resulting in higher engagement conversion rates and customer satisfaction now in a traditional funnel you had to set up a campaign the campaign was supposed to perform at in a way it just did that all the learnings came in then you analyze the learnings and did your iteration again manually now here you see the targeting is optimized your content is being dynamic uh, when when it comes to deciding what kind of content to be shown to what kind of audiences then you will have the right audience be shown the right message at the right time right now you see the difference now what is automated lead nurturing lead nurturing is something which always happened in in our marketing right so you collected some details you collected your form fills came in now you looked at these uh, audience categories then you maybe you sent out a welcome email or depending upon the stage that they are at and how they interacted you send them different messages based upon uh, what what stage of the journey they are at whether they are close to purchase or whether they are still considering uh, your product now based upon that you did send nurturing emails but look at what happens in the ai based funnels they automate the nurturing of leads which means they track and analyze customer behavior personalize communication and deliver targeted content to prospects in order to give them the in order to guide them through this uh, through, through the funnel now if somebody is at uh, in an interest phase so you send them certain emails but you also smartly include a chatbot that could uh, analyze their responses based upon how ready they are to go ahead and buy your product now if you send out two emails one is talking about the interest phase and one one resonates better with people in the consideration phase now depending upon what email they respond to you can analyze what these guys are what exactly is the status of these uh, potential customers now advantages of automated lead nurturing it saves a lot of time and resources of course improve improves lead qualification and conversion rates enhances customer experience allows for real time tracking data enables targeted content delivery at the right time and through the right channel now it all starts making sense when we look at the infographic not the infographic the visual representation that i had generated about how an ai funnel would look like now let us look at i mean before we jump right into that i would want to look at what ai based funnels can do it it does at automated analysis it helps you personalize it 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 allows you to personalize deep with your customers go to the nitty gritties of of their preferences you can customize it and personalize it to that level continuous optimization on the go you can have chatbots and virtual inter- assistants which can interact with your users uh, and 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 get them down the funnel without human intervention that's the whole point then you have ab testing when you speak about optimization integration with other ai tools which means you can go ahead and push your recommendation systems upsell cross sell dynamically uh, i mean without manual intervention using these funnels all right now implementing ai based funnels choosing the right platform this is the tech part of it you can choose any tool you can choose click funnels you can choose system there are a lot of ai tools funnels this session is not about the tools and the t- uh, tricks but this is about understanding the concept now integrated ai into your existing funnels this is how it would normally look like and this was made using uh, a plugin called eraser from chat gpt all the feeds all the all the prompts were given to it 
depending upon what we wanted to showcase and it generated this figure for you now look at the stages you have the awareness stage then you have the interest stage then you have decision stage then you have action stage and there is continuous optimization happening along the way right now at the awareness stage if nothing happened if nothing of these ever existed if only awareness interest decision action had existed that was how your normal traditional uh, funnel would look like but here at the awareness stage you have ai enhanced landing pages and dynamic content which means people who are looking at shoes were shown more content related to shoes and videos related to shoes etc so the co- content can be uh, made dynamic using certain platforms and that would give you uh, an edge over your competition who is not doing that right now based upon the ai enhanced landing pages that you have given them you can provide them personalized user experience as i said somebody is interested in product x you can show them elements related to x more on when on on their visit to your landing page at the interest stage you have ai optimized lead capture page which means you can have forms uh, which are smart enough to capture the leads and send them emails accordingly depending upon what their questions are then you have adaptive forms which we would be looking at later then as I, as we also discussed that you could also integrate certain chat bots which could drive people down the funnel without your intervention at all now at the decision stage you have ai driven email sequences where they are segmented carefully based upon certain parameters ai systems analyze the learnings from these results and then they start showing the better variation of email that has a better potential to convert then you have behavior based emails optimal send times uh all right so then you have at, at the action stage you have ai enhanced consultation booking where they can go ahead and book your consultation predictive analytics come into play give you better insights now these insights are not being analyzed by you after they happened these are being analyzed while this whole activity is in play right then you have continuous optimization where it is learning from the data that you are capturing and then start and, and it starts making tweaks accordingly and you just have to sit and overlook the entire process all right then i mean it is the same representation but using another plugin which could give you another angle of uh, of factors that you may want to look at so at the awareness stage you have ai enhanced landing pages dynamic content personalized user experience then at the interest stage ai comes into play if if you observe ai is acting as a layer at all the, i mean at each stage giving you certain factors which were missing or certain features that were missing in traditional ai systems so finally i would want to end this with saying tools are important but they aren't everything what is important is the strategy so please make sure that you have included your ai based thought process in your strategies that you go ahead and come up with for your marketing thank you so much my name is kc until next time ciao